Okay, it's good. Hello. Um, our theologian was Phyllis Tribble, and Michaela is going to tell you about her life and works, and I'm going to discuss her methodology. So Phyllis Tribble was born in October of 1932 in Virginia. Um, she was born into the second wave of feminism. So um, the first wave had happened after the Great Depression and after um, the First World War, and she was born into the second one in um, 1930s after that. There was little to no feminist theology in when she began her studies and her her works. Um, her she got her bachelor's degree from Meredith College and her PhD from Union Seminary and Columbia University in 1963, which was the main start date for the move of the second wave of feminism. Um, in her PhD, she focused on Old Testament theology. She was a professor of Old Testament theology and appointed professor of sacred literature at Union Seminary, and she was the first woman to hold that office. Um, she wrote texts of terror and God and the rhetoric of sexuality, and these texts were groundbreaking texts in feminist theology um, and used widely as feminist theology grew and expanded from this root. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Um, to understand how Phyllis Tribble worked and how she wrote and why she did those things, it's important to understand that second wave of feminism that Michaela introduced, which um, really the key date that we found was really 1963. And so mm -hmm. um, Phyllis Tribble was born in the 30s. And so right around this time, um, was really when she began her her work. So this was very important and really influenced how she thought and her theology. Um, so it was a shift in thinking, um, the, the second wave fem feminism was, and that was largely due to Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique, which really challenged how people see gender and sex. Um, and so feminist theology, just to kind of break that down, um, describes and convicts. So it resists against subordination and domination in all forms, whether that's male over female or whether that's master over slave. Um, and it sees domination as a sin because it resists against God's natural intention for equality between male and female that we find in creation. Um, and so once we understand this, the result of this, hopefully, is repentance, um, is what feminist theology looks for and what uh, the goal is. And so um, the flowering really focused on how a change in one individual and a change in their thinking in this can um, create a change in a society as a whole. Um, and so there are diverse feminist perspectives um, in terms of how they viewed scripture, but feminist biblical scholars use very conventional methods. Um, and they one unique thing about feminist uh, theologians is that they tend to often connect their life and their work. So whatever text they're studying, whatever um, work they're doing, they tend to connect that more to um, their context, like their immediate work and their immediate context. Um, and so the specific method broken down would start with exegesis, just as any other theologian would. Um, one thing it would focus on would be the presence and absence of the female in scripture. Um, and one thing that I found interesting was feminist biblical scholars tend to look more at passages that are neglected, um, especially passages that are neglected that have a female role in them because those are important. Um, it also focuses on exposing idolatry and really studies critically Israelite folk religion um, to look at how patriarchy um, in the time that scripture was written can taint our view of scripture today. Um, basic things like always using male pronouns to describe God shapes our way of thinking and shapes our theology today. Um, and so that was just very broad feminist theology, but Phyllis Tribble 
really worked a lot from that and was really influenced from that greatly. And so we found that really important when learning about her to see what was influencing her at the time. Um, and so she utilized this methodology to create the works um, like Texts of Terror that we talked about. And it was interesting. And that's all. Thank you.